Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Coco Volley. My name is Coco and I love volleyball. So today we're gonna to talk about our favorite thing ever, volleyball tryouts. Let's get right into it. volleyball tryout video I made around this year no last year at this time that was a really great video to give you some tips on how to try out but let's dive a little bit deeper so I'm gonna give you five things that you should do in order to probably up your chances at making your volleyball team number one introduce yourself to the coach it's really really important and I know I said this in the last video but it is so important to introduce yourself to the coach that lets you turn from a player or a prospective player to somebody by name. You want them to know your name. For example, if you had a teacher in school and you're not doing well, at the end of the semester, do you wanna go up to the teacher like, hey teacher, I've been in your class all year, but I really need that extra .5 to round my grade up to an A. If they're like, I don't know student 555, I don't know you. No, you want them to say, I don't know Ashley, let's see what we can do. When they know you by name, they're more familiar. So, at the beginning of the tryout, it should look like this. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm really, really, really excited to try out. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I hope to do my best. And it's really simple. Just have two small sentences that show that you're eager, you're ready to play, and you're excited to try out. That lets them know that you are coachable and you really, really take and value this experience. Number two, show up early to the tryout. And I don't mean show up a whole hour early. You don't wanna to be too eager. Show up about 30 minutes early. That way you can get a feel of the tryout. You can see who's there to see to make any kind of connections. You can get your equipment ready and you can assist with putting up the net. That shows that you already are taking initiative. So go ahead and show up early so that way when the time starts and the bell starts, they know that you're ready. Number three, make sure to call mine in practice plays. So, my, my first tryout, I know that I had to run 10 laps initially. So, that was one of the things that we had to do in the beginning, but every single tryout is completely different. So don't think that my tryout experience is gonna be exactly like yours. But one thing that you should do is call mine. That shows that you already know somewhat of the game. You learned that in a video. We already know some of the game and that we are ready for the ball to come to us and we're ready to learn new concepts. So if you guys are doing a scrimmage, which is a mock play game, if you guys are scrimmaging, call the ball mine when it comes to me. But don't call mine unnecessarily to look cool, or don't call mine and you're not gonna actually get the ball. Call mine when you're actually gonna attempt to get the ball. Number four, try to find out the coach's expectations. And what I mean by that is you want to know what this particular coach looks for. When I coached varsity, I looked for particular things when I was having tryouts. And some of the things that I personally like to look for is I like to look for students who are coachable, students who are eager and ready to learn the game, who are gonna put in, I can tell they're gonna put in some really, really hard work and dedication, and just a little bit of skill. So what I mean a little bit of skill is, they've already started to learn the concepts that they need to know. But that's okay if you're a complete beginner. Don't be discouraged, because coachable students are always great to work with. So, try to learn the coach's expectations. Try to see if you know anybody who has played on the team before, like last year, and say, hey, I'm thinking about trying out for volleyball, and I really want to know what are some things Coach Ashley looks for? What are some things that Coach Sarah looks for? Look at some of the things that they're looking for, like Coach Ashley might like you to serve over the net. Coach Sarah might want you to pass the ball consistently. Coach Damon, he might want you to go and he wants people to call mine or he wants to see some team leadership and teamwork. Look at some of their expectations and try to implement that into your tryout strategy. And tip number five, ask questions so sometimes in a play or sometimes in a practice i'll say does anybody have any questions at that time use an opportunity to say hey um excuse me coach are we going to be trying up into groups are we going to be into teams or ask any relevant questions to what they're asking that shows that you're listening you're absorbing information and you're ready to digest and show them that you are learning what they're teaching you so i hope these tryout tips help you out 
this season and don't be discouraged if you don't make it please don't don't be discouraged because volleyball is for life i play volleyball well into adulthood now i have people who i play volleyball with now who didn't have the opportunity to play middle or high school but they don't let that get them down so even if you don't make the team this time stick around because you know what you can still learn something and you can still play volleyball your whole life i have no plan of stopping playing volleyball anytime soon so don't be discouraged. All right, so I hope you like this video and I will see you guys next time.